new teenage driver, racing driver, Franco from Notwai, surviving an auto skid in a snowstorm. Are you worried about teenagers driving in a snowstorm? Are you a teenager? This is my relevant story on my first long distance road trip in a snowstorm. I almost died and this is what I did to survive. At age 16, I got a driver's license from New York. At 17, I bought my first car, a 1972 Chevelle Malibu with a black hardtop. I drove that car everywhere, to school, to work, to the great Long Island beaches, and to New York City, to Madison Square Garden to see concerts. In fact, one day, Tony Glenn, Linda, and I had a plan to drive from Long Island, New York to Rochester, New York to go see a rock concert. This 350 mile drive to Rochester would be the longest drive I have ever made. By my calculations, the drive would take less than six hours. <laughs> yeah, right. Looking for every chance to keep our driving course down, we decided to take a shortcut, Route 17, instead of driving the New York Thruway. The New York Thruway was a highway which was a much better road and safer, but had frequent tolls on it. And as teenagers, every dollar mattered, so we skipped the toll road. We drove north, and there were some snow flurries that turned into heavy snow. In fact, we drove into a severe snowstorm. As the snow density increased on the two-lane route, the big trucks reduced their driving speed and stayed in the right lane. The trucks provided better traction and cleared a path from my car, but the trucks were only driving 30 to 40 miles an hour and the speed limit was 65. Could I pass a truck in the left lane? That question nagged me. Maybe there was also a little peer pressure. At the rate we were driving, we would never make it to the concert. There were no tire tracks in that left lane, and the snow was building up. And even though I was drafting behind the trailer truck, which was blocking my wind, I was saving some money on gas, but we were still going slow. But we had a mission to get to the concert. I had to pass the truck. At least I had to try to pass one. I cautiously changed over to the left lane. I immediately felt the full force of Mother Nature's wind blowing at my car. I slowly increased my speed to pass the first truck and learned not to get too close to the truck because the wind draft could suck you in. After slowly passing the truck, I switched back over to the better lane, the right-hand lane. We passed about six or seven trucks and I became the expert truck passer. To the point, passing trucks was routine. In fact, I got slightly complacent in the truck passing operation. After passing like number seven or eight, reality caught up with me. The right lane was now just as bad as the left lane. The snowfall and wind had increased and my rear wheel tires started skidding left. I had no rear tire traction. I tried to compensate the skid by steering the wheel to the left. My rear wheel started fishtailing to the right and I made an aggressive right turn to compensate. All hell broke loose. My 1976 Chevelle Malibu and at a few 360 degree turns. My rear bumper hit something and whatever it was, it stopped the 360 degree spins. I stopped the car. We got out in the cold snowstorm and assessed the situation. The car hit a guardrail. We had stopped on a spot on the road that was at the edge of a steep cliff looking down to a deep gorge. The only thing that prevented us from going down that steep cliff was the guardrail. Well, the four of us collected our thoughts, spoke some kind words to each other, and agreed we didn't have to pass any more trucks on Route 17. The car was drivable, 
and we made it to the concert. The big lessons I learned was that when you get into a skid, take your foot off the gas pedal and don't press the brakes too hard. Steer into the skid slowly. Don't overcompensate with steering. Stay calm until the car's path straightens out. After the concert in Rochester, we drove back on the New York Thruway, the safer roadway home. Driving in snowstorms for the first time can be dangerous and deadly. I am so grateful that I survived and that I can share my lessons learned to help you drive safely in snowstorms. Enjoy the day. If not, enjoy the night.